So is it pretty much just all tuna fishing right now? Or like, are there any sort of species that are showing up this yeah. early? The early season stuff, I mean, primarily we're targeting bluefin on these trips. Um, mm -hmm. There are yellowtail around this time of year generally. One of the boats, uh, I think two weekends ago, ended up with seven yellowtail. Not a huge hit, but it's another species, another pelagic, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so if we see like a nice kelp patty in the right water, there's no reason that there wouldn't be yellowtail this time of year. Uh, the last two years, mid-April, May, you know, that early season stuff, there has been yellowtail uh, to fish alongside the bluefin. So like people, you know, all the time, right, we're driving around, we're hunting for bluefin, and then like they see a kelp or like we drive past a kelp and they're like, why didn't we stop? Like what's going on with yeah, that? Like yeah. when people want to know why we're driving right past a kelp that's like right off the bow. <laughs> right, especially when it's right off the bow. Yeah. Like, Every single boat in the fleet, at least the San Diego fleet now, has a sonar. And every captain, when they drive by a kelp, it isn't because they didn't see it. They turned to go towards that kelp to use the sonar and use the equipment to look at it. And when it comes down to it, time is just so valuable on a trip, you know. Mm -hmm. um, stopping and drifting just to soak lines, you know. I guess you can do that to please people, but I'd rather save that time and keep on working and covering ground and burning fuel to try to find the right school that's going to bite rather than just say, okay, guys, soak a line, knowing yeah. that they're not going to catch anything. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people get really antsy with it. You know, it's like, yeah. oh, come on. I just want to throw a line in the water. I just want to throw a line in the water. It's like, but thinking of it as that, you know, it's like, okay, would you rather, you know, waste time? you know, or spend time fishing right. empty water or like trying to like get put yourself at a best chance to like get to where the fish are potentially. Yeah, a lot of that I think comes down to experience too. The more experienced anglers will understand like we might not stop the boat during this trip except for one time and it still yeah. could be an epic trip. Yeah. Like that's all it takes is one stop sometimes and yeah. you fill up the boat with limits because you find that right school. Whereas somebody who hasn't been on a boat too many times or they've only been during El Nino and fish wide open kelp right. patties comes in with a different expectation and different yeah. knowledge level. So they don't understand why. Well, can't we just stop the boat? Aren't there fish here? Yeah. Like it's the ocean. Fish could swim through anywhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you, sure you could. You could just stop and you could drift and mm -hmm. that's just not going to yield the product of finding the right school.